Hello, today we're going to be demonstrating how to change the oil of an, a Volvo X390 2005. To start, you need to open your trunk. You can find the trunk controls on the bottom left by the uh, pedals. After you pop your trunk, you reach down here and you're going to find a little latch. You use that to open your trunk. Now that you blow the hood, we have already removed the uh, drain gasket. You're going to want to inspect the uh, bottom of it. If it is corroded or it is too dirty, you're going to want to replace it. In our case, it is fine. While you're down here, you're going to want to check the other engine fluids. Yeah, that's drain plug. The tools we're going to be using this for this is a 17 millimeter combination wrench. This is for the uh, drain plug. We're going to be using a 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench. This is for the uh, the splash cover that is on the bottom of your Volvo X390. In our case, we do not have the uh, splash cover installed. We've already removed it. So we're not going to be deinstalling that today. Seven bolts on the uh, splash cover that are uh, removable via 10 millimeter socket wrench. And then last but not least, we have the rag to clean up, an oil pan, and an oil filter wrench to remove the oil filter. Now that we are below the car, this is your oil filter. Before you uh, uninstall the uh, oil filter, you wanna find your drain plug. The drain plug on this vehicle is located right here. In this case, you'd use your combination wrench to remove it. In our case, we're only demonstrating. We are not actually removing it. For this oil filter, after you remove the drain plug and you have already removed the contents, you want to fasten the oil filter wrench around your oil filter and remove it. Once you've removed, you want to take out the uh, paper oil filter and replace it with a new paper oil filter. And then there's going to be an o-ring on the inside of this oil filter you're going to want to remove that and lubricate it you can use old oil or you can use new oil and then you're going to want to lubricate that really well and then install it without stretching it over the uh, oil filter after you finished installing your uh, oil filter back once you've installed your oil filter, you're going to want to remove the dipstick of the car. The dipstick can be located right in the front. It's by this red uh, pulley. Pull it out. You're going to want to wipe it with a rag and then reinsert it into your vehicle. Pull it out again. On uh, your dipstick, you're going to see three or four X's on uh, this model's dipstick, but on other models, it can be dimples. You're going to want to see the oil in the middle of these X's too high and you're gonna to want to drain more oil the oil capacity of the volvo x390 at least the 2005 version is 6.1 quarts if you have too low you're gonna to want to fill more oil to check for what kind of oil you want to put into your car you want to check uh on the side of the car door for the oil specifications and the viscosity uh specifications uh after you have put in the correct amount of oil into your vehicle you want to put your dipstick back in Close your gasket up, and once you've closed your trunk and put everything back in its place, you should be ready to go.